in France. We're actually gonna walk back towards Ratatouille to grab a snack because we haven't eaten today. And we're gonna attempt to drink around the world. Ooh. And we're not gonna do it irresponsibly though, so we need some food on our tummies first. So we're gonna try the ham, bechamel, and cheese galette. I believe, and then we're gonna grab a drink. All right, so here is the giant galette. I honestly thought it was gonna be like half the size, but it looks good. It's super hot, burning my hand. It? No, I wanna hold it. Oh. Okay. All right, we are gonna grab the La Vie en Rose. All right, it's so cute. It's like hot pink. Quite refreshing, it's very cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. But it's got big vodka. Now you go. <laughs> We're in Japan. We got the violet sake. Don't mind the boo-boo on my thumb. Oh god, I spilled again. Anyway, this is like their one of their iconic drinks. We've never tried it. And Zach got the Tokyo, what was it? Sunset? Tokyo Sunset. Yeah, I forgot what it was in it. Banana. There's some banana. Rum. Rum. Banana. And something else. It's good. Extra almost, but it's very fruity. This is so purple. Like, it might taste like pineapple. Ultraviolet purple. It must be pineapple, isn't it? No, I don't think there's pineapple. Really? Trade. No, I'll drink it. Well, try that. Nice. It's just really sweet. The pear juice, it's like purple pear juice. Purple. See? Oh, they're both sweet. Yeah. This does taste like pineapple juice, you're right. I told you. It's good though. Both good. Very sweet though. Yeah. Dang it, we were definitely gonna get the sake slushy from here and we forgot. Nuts and bolts. That's alright. Made it to America. Oh cool. Is that inside there? Oh. I feel like we never spend time in here. Interesting. Alright, we're trying to find this. It's Innovation and Change in American Indian Art. But yeah, the limoncello spritzer, it actually, it tastes like just pure sparkling limoncello. Well, it's, it's, it's yeah, sparkling wine and then just limoncello, raspberry limoncello. Raspberry limoncello, is that what it said? That's it. Oh, that's lovely. The rest was champagne, so it's just a shot with champagne. A shot with champagne. It's good though, yeah? It is good. I'd make that at home. Yeah. Because it's so light. I want to go in to Italy though, because I want to look for that Luca mural. That's one of my favorite Pixar movies, is Luca. 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 Hey. Holy cow. Germany. Ah, uh, that's where we were supposed to be. But we're not. That's okay. We're gonna try their, I think, the pretzel bread pudding and see what drinks they have here because I don't know besides beer. But I feel like it'd be blasphemy to get anything other than beer. Pretzel bread pudding. I'm so excited to try it. 
the first. You know, it has caramel on it. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> How is it? Mm. It's really good. Is it salty? No. Not at all? Alright, we got our drink from Germany. And we got the Schaffahoffa. The grapefruit Hefeweizen. I'm not a big beer drinker, but snack is. It looks good. Tastes good. Tastes good. We are officially in China, and we got the, I've already forgotten them. Kung Fu Punch. Kung Fu Punch. Honey Hibiscus Hard Iced Tea. And the Honey Hibiscus Hard Iced Tea. And then, again, being responsible, we got the an order of egg rolls. It smells really good, Zach says. It's really good. He's telling me to hurry because it's like it might rain or something. Maybe. And we also have the infamous Disney Ducks that don't like me getting that close. Two little ladies. Hey, don't feed them. That disrupts their metabolism. All right, we are bypassing Norway because the only drink is, what is it, the Viking tea? No, Viking coffee. And we're not really in the mood for a super sweet slushy type drink. So we're taking our Chinese drinks and heading over to Mexico. You can eat plumeri? Oh, yeah. No? I didn't know that. Those aren't bougainvilleas. That sign's wrong. What about vegetable fun? They're edible fiddleheads. It's ginger. And it's the very sound of both. No. Wow, look at those things. Food and pumpkins. They're huge. take 12 <laughs> but we just got back to the room so I filmed some of us um, eating kind of at the flying fish which is like the fancy restaurant over here at the boardwalk and it was so good uh, I got the potato wrapped red snapper and it had like leeks at the bottom and like a red wine reduction so good um, Zach got the, this is still crazy loud, isn't it? 
I mean, unless you guys just want to learn about flying foxes with me. Anyway, Zach got the New York strip. It was like char crusted New York strip with um, like a potato thing. Oh crap, I'm butchering it. It's okay. And it's like a potato layer cake and green beans. It was also, oh, and we got the um, pork belly to split as like an appetizer and it had a croquette with it. So good. I haven't had a good croquette in so long. Um, so that was, it was a really nice dinner. It was, it was quite magical. It was, it was like definitely experience and experience and it took probably about like an hour and a half to eat. So it wasn't super quick, but for us going on a date without having the kids there, um, it was really nice. Although they did have a kid's menu. So that was nice. And we might come back with them because it was just so good. It was very, not very expensive, but it was on the pricier side, but well worth it. Oh, there's... fireworks so Epcot forever I believe is the name of this specific firework show oh, how cool it's so lively here they're doing a like a on the lawn movie right there that's where you can rent sorry bikes we ate right over there where the glowing red and blue is um, the piano bar is that way it's just like a boardwalk which is you know its namesake Pretty cool. And into the store here to pick up um, one of the mugs I was looking at that I really liked. One of the abracadabra cups for your cocktails. Ooh, I feel like an espresso martini. Uh, yeah, actually, that would be good. I was trying, I was like, you're trying to rationalize it. Well, because I collect the glasses. I mean, you liked it. Yes. I was just done and hungry at that point. Done and hungry. <laughs> Look at this cute little shirt. Oops. Yeah, plate too. <gasps> From, um, yeah. How cute are these? Pops of color. Wow. You want to sit here? Yeah. Alright, we ended up getting the New Jersey crumb cake. Love crumb cake. Never been to New Jersey, so I I don't know if this would taste authentic, but it looks really good. And then we also got our little Italian fried cookies, which looks just like the fried cake from Kringle, which is a little bakery in the Norway pavilion. So we had to grab one of those and we got two of these. So Zachary got the cinnamon bun coffee, which is like a Cinnamon bun coffee. Cinnamon bun coffee. That's frozen. <laughs> that's frozen, that's right. It's like a frozen <laughs> coffee. I was trying to think, like frappuccino. And then I got the shakerado, which is just like a double shot of rice. <laughs> I think it's like a vanilla flavor, too. This is good. What did you think? Crumb cake. New Jersey. Crummy. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to show these. Look at all the carousel horses. Hopefully you're watching, because you know Nana would love these. It's so cute. 
Do you see a trash can? Yeah. You didn't take that? <laughs> There's another one right here.